Hi, I'm Leslie Esslin, your Director of Education at Becker School Supplies and a past board member of the USA Toy Library Association. So we are presenting a series of videos which show some educational activities you can do at home with found objects and with the children that are home with you. I'm gonna share my screen now so I can show you this activity. Here we go. So um, I'm sitting in front of a brick wall because I thought it kind of matched the theme of what we're doing today, which is the activity is called How to Save the Three Little Pigs, Engineering a Solution to a Better Ending. And in this activity, the first thing we're gonna do is ask our children to retell the story, the, the classic story of the three little pigs. And hopefully they can identify all the characters and tell you the sequence of events that happened. And then we're going to present them with a challenge. The challenge is to build a house to protect the pig from the big bad wolf. And there are only two rules in this activity. One is that the, um, you need to use three different kinds of materials that are found at home. And the second rule is that the pig needs to be visible in this structure. So I'm going to now show you, whoops, don't look at that yet. I'm going to show you how I'm gonna go about this. So the first thing we need is a pig. And um, I printed one off the internet. Uh, you can ask your children to draw a pig or if you're artistic, you can draw a pig. Um, I'm just sitting here at my kitchen table and I'm not artistic, so I printed one out and cut it out. And then we want our pig to stand. So more found objects at home. So I put on some clothespins there. Uh, collected a lot of objects that the children can use in doing this activity. So give them a variety. Let them help you find materials around the house that they think you could use. And I'm going to use good old classic toilet paper rolls, which many of us have lots of, I think, at this point. And I'm building a structure here. I do remember from past experiences that a triangle is a very sturdy shape. So I'm going to scaffold that knowledge as I attempt to build a structure that I think will protect this pig from the wolf when he comes looking. And whoop, so I think we're going to give this one a try. So I'm going to go back here and talk about the next thing we're going to do, which is test. So what we do now is we come up with a test to see if the structure is strong enough to protect the pig. And the test in this case is going to be three huffs, um, huff or puff or whatever a wolf does. And so um, we want it to be something that's replicable so that if we do it again, or you have many structures, a few children at home participated, that we can use the same test and see which one withstood the three huffs. So here we go, it's very scientific. Uh-oh. So we can debate whether or not we think that this um, pig withstood that. Um, he, he is he is still standing as far as I can see. So, um, and if it failed, the good news is we get to try again and we learn from our failures. So in this case, I would say that we're going to wrap up and say, depending on your results, either the pig or the wolf lived happily ever after. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.